are you doing? Are you breaking stuff? You're breaking stuff again, aren't you? Is that what you do? Hi, monster. You're a monster. Yes, you are. My little feathered freak. <laughs> Funniest part in all of this, in watching her hang upside down, try and reach things. See, that's what she'll do next. Oh, well, after we throw something first. Yeah, well, throw that one too. Yep, throw that one. Now she'll hang upside down and she'll try and figure out if there's another way to reach across that gap because she's realized she's longer hanging upside down and laying backwards than she is standing up. But the funniest thing in all of this is look what's on her back. She has wings. <laughs> she could... She could... I'm sorry, this is so freaking funny to me. She could make two short flaps. Oh, you little stink. Don't eat my furniture. <laughs> she could make one short little, like, hop with no effort from the wings on her back. <laughs> and land where she wants to go. And she's done that before. Oh, that's right. I have wings. Oh, I can fly. I'm a bird. <laughs> oh, you're so joy that I get out of watching this bird problem solve. No, two thirds of the time it frustrates me. It absolutely frustrates me because I will think I have her foiled. And then I will think I have her entertained that I've given her enough to play with and and she'll defeat that in like three minutes. So personal time is not something I have in my life. But, but watching her just try and figure things out is just, it's just so amazing and it never ends. And she's so smart and so funny and you can never, ever use the same deterrent with her twice because once she figures something out, you can't tweak it, you can't, you can't slightly rework something, you have to totally change it because once she has something figured out, she is not... She doesn't forget. You can't wait six months and then use that same thing again. And, um, yeah, no, she just breaks everything. You break everything. This is why you're not allowed on the good furniture. <laughs> but, yeah, so we go through a lot of wood in this house because Zoe likes to chew because that's what African gray parrots do. They chew things and they have to be allowed to meet that need. That's right. You can't tell them we don't chew things. You just have to give things to them that it's okay for them to chew. Huh? Yes. It's so funny. It's like when you say to your kids in that little tone of voice, don't make me turn this car around. She looks at me and she's like, don't make me get my wings out. Do not make me fly. I will come for you. And in about 15 minutes, she will. In about 15 minutes, she'll get tired of playing over there. And she'll come land on the back of my chair, and that's it. Once she decides she wants to be over here, there's no there's no arguing with her. You could put her back, but she can fly. So three seconds later, she'll be back on the back of the chair. And you just give her some attention and love, and then give her something new to play with, huh? Look at you. You are like spider bird, spider bird. Climbs wherever she can instead of flying. I know that was a really terrible song. Sorry. You are so silly. You're so silly. Upside down bird. Are you breaking your stand? Yep. Alrighty then. 